Dolce wish your girlfriend was fit like me. Dolce. Dolce. Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Neighborhood Gems. Today we'll be having someone that knows the dish better than I do. Let's welcome Shash! So I heard you invited me today because you're gonna eat something from my culture. Am I the only Indian person you know? That's why? You're the most beautiful Indian person oh! I know in my life. Most beautiful Indian person? Ah. Okay, oh. oh my god. I'm very excited to join you on today's episode because we are eating one of my favorite dishes ever, which is biryani. Oh my god, I love 7 Eleven biryani. Actually, it's embarrassing for me to admit it, but I love 7 Eleven. Right, it's not bad, oh. admit it. It's, it's not damn bad. good. It's damn good, eh? And for 4 50 Butter chicken, some more. Since you like biryani a lot, right? Yeah. What mm. kind of like biryani do you like the most? Okay, I think like with biryani, there's like mainly two types. One one is where they like cook the rice and the meat separately. Yes. But then the type of biryani like I like is called like dumb biryani, uh, which is like the meat is cooked correct. with the rice. Yeah, yeah. Oh my and god. And the pot is like sealed, so like the rice has like the infusion of the like meat god taste bless. as well. So today at every shop we're going to, I think it's best if we try like the mutton dumb biryani because I think that's like most indicative of like whether that place's biryani is good. Of course, if each restaurant has like its own like signature menu that they are like die die you must try, then of course we'll try that also lah. Oh my god, let's. Go, I'm very excited to find the best biryani in your neighborhood. Let's go! Hi guys, we are at our first location here at Bisbee Biryani. So we are thinking, as we said, we wanted to get like the mutton biryani, right? So here they are like known for their lamb shank biryani. Mm. But actually, you can mix and match stuff. So if you see their menu, right, you can choose the type of meat you want. Then they have like three types of rice. So you can like choose the meat and then you choose the rice. Oh my god, yeah. I love it. We heard that they are known for their chicken sambal, so we'll also be getting that. Sounds good. Oh my god, I'm very excited. Can we order the lamb shank biryani? Okay. And also chicken sambal a la carte. Okay. okay. Having here? Having here. here. Okay. Yes. So now we are here at our first location. We are here at Yishun at yes. Bismi Biryani. I've seen this like featured in ebook three years ago. Let's see if like the standard drop or it's still oh. as good as it is like, okay. when we reviewed it. So we have the lamb shank biryani here. This is the chicken sambal. This is the min chutney. I feel like the rice amount is quite normal. I feel like okay. usually Indian dishes or like biryani in general, they're very generous. Oh. The amount, right? And I mean, the lamb shank is gigantic. Uh. Can I just say, right? This is how oh big the goodness. lamb shank is. This is like hand size. Correct. You see that? Oh my god. Yeah. Even from here, right? Actually, it's quite fragrant also. Yeah. Guys, you'll eat how brown people eat. Wow. <laughs> correct, correct. I'm brown, so I can say that. Okay, we'll try just the meat first to see how it is. Uh. Oh. Wow, guys. Mm. Oh my god. I'm not a big fan of mutton. Uh. But this one, I can finish the whole thing. Really? You know why? It's not gamey at all. What? And the spices, right? It slaps. The spice comes at the back of your throat and it's like, it's tingling. I understand what Larry's saying. Like, mm. the outside really, like, there's a lot of spices and stuff. But I do feel like it does taste really like mutton. So if you don't like that taste and like that natural, like, fattiness that, like, lamb has, then maybe you might okay. find this a bit intense. Can I just applaud? It's very tender. Yes. It's very juicy. Yeah. It's really good. The moment I tear it just now, right, the juice just overflows. Yeah. I'm very excited yes. to try the rice. Mm. Wow, 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 you hear It's like when I say it's like right, it's like you 10,000 times. I think it's quite spicy. It's not wow. like hot spicy. It's like you can taste like the cinnamon sticks, cloves, like cardamom, bay leaf, and stuff like that. Rather than just it being like curry taste, wow. which I feel like a lot of bad biryani is like fall into right. that trap. I feel mm. like the rice can be a little bit fluffier. Mm. Yeah, because like usually for basmati rice, right, yeah. if you do it wrongly, it can be a little bit on the harder side. Yeah. And which I think this is leaning more towards that. Mm. We try it together. Definitely. That's how you eat it. Mmm. Uh, cancel everything I said about the meat. meat. Right, right, right. Wow, it's like, you know you can't wear white to like other people's wedding. Correct. Like, I feel like he's not trying to outdo the like main show. Wow, the experience is really, literally different. Yeah. Like Together, it like balances out like intense the spices also. Like with the meat being like more like plain and like fatty. Okay, so now we'll be trying a special dish on the side that we've ordered. It's yeah. a chicken sambal. Yeah. This is an Indian sambal. I don't know. Mm. That's too spicy. It's not like 
the sweet type of some chicken sambal that I'm usually used to is spicy. <laughs> and uh, everything so far has been spicy. <laughs> and I have a high spice tolerance. Me too, me too, me too. I'm Indian. Me too, me too. I'm Filipino. <laughs> Don't think like we are just weak. It's actually spicy, okay? But the meat is very well cooked. Like it's very tender. Comes off the bone very easily and everything. And like the taste has penetrated like through the entire meat. It's not just like the outside sambal taste vibe. Right? And you know sometimes things are so spicy like you want to keep eating. I'm sweating guys. This is the mint, I think. God, I think it's one of the best pairing tonight. Thank today. <laughs> it's so good. And it like cuts through all the like, so far everything has been quite like indulgent. Like strong flavours. It's so cooling, it like cleanses your palate. I feel like a new person. But it didn't cut through everything, you know. Right. So you can still have that like taste of like spices when you mm. eat it. Actually initially when this plate came, I was quite sad because like my favourite like biryani condiment is like Raita or pachedi, which is like the yogurt acha. So I was worried like there's no like cooling, refreshing uh -huh. taste. But this they understand it better than me, obviously. This mint chutney like does what it needs to do. So this plate of like nasi biryani, right? 1650. Mm. And I think it can be shared by two people. Mm. Yeah, and I feel for the quality of it, for the flavors, it's got the authentic taste. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it's authentic, but you think so? I think it's authentic to like Singaporean nasi biryani. Second location, and we're at Ashik Restaurant, all the way in Jurong East. I'm excited to try because we'll be trying your special item, the mutton dum. Ooh, so I'm so excited. Right. Yes. Shall so we get it? Yes, let's yeah, get let's it. For mutton dum, Okay, we are here now at our second location at yes. Ashik Restaurant in Jurong East, and we have mutton dum biryani. Yes. And like a uh, mutton curry on the side. Mutton dal cha to be oh, exact. Oh shit. Yeah. Because dal cha has like lento rather than just curry. I think Singapore is very famous to go with biryani. I'm so excited. The looks of the of the food itself, right? It's very like a neighborhood. Banana leaf style plate. Mm. It's colored like plate on the side. small yeah. plate on the side also. And the acha here is like redder. Correct. It's like actually like saucy and like yeah. yeah. And the rice itself, it's more like the usual light yellow colored mm. like biryani. Okay. Hopefully, it's as flavorful as it yes. looks. Okay, shall we try it? Yes, let's try. Mm. Toss, toss. Because like the first location that we tried just mm. now, right? It's like jam-packed with flavors. Yeah. It's like sudden like from here, go mm. there. I don't know what they call that. Mm. But I have this like very, like that kind of aroma-ish mm. that I, I feel. Uh, but I just wish it's a little bit more flavorful. Okay. I like my biryani, right? When you try it, mm. the flavor should like mm. fit in your mouth. Uh. <laughs> I feel like this tastes very familiar. Like if I like want to go downstairs buy biryani, this is exactly the taste I am looking for. But definitely compared to the first location, this is like very mild. But it's much more homely. And I feel like it will go well with like the other ingredients. Like it might not be that overwhelming. I want to try the meat first. Yes. Yeah. Let's, Let's try. try. Actually, this is very familiar to me. <laughs> this is exactly like what you're imagining it tastes like. Oh, There's yeah. nothing more to say, less to say. Like it's not bad. Right. We are in Jurong East right now, by the way. Like if you don't stay here, like I wouldn't come here to eat. Think the meat, right? In the middle of like tender and overcooked. It's not too rubbery, yeah. but it's not too tender. I feel this one got more gaminess Ooh. than the first one. What is gamey to you actually? Like when you eat, right? Got this very this like taste and aroma mm. that you know when you eat it. It just stay in your mouth. There's no like curry or like inbuilt flavor. It's just mutton. Has to be accompanied with the dal cha, which we should yes, try. Yes, we should next. try it now yeah. because I feel it will make a lot of difference. Correct, correct, correct. It's damn good. <laughs> Wait, what? No joke. Yeah. This is no joke. This freaking sauce made it 10 times better. I take back everything I said just now. Come to Jurong East, okay? And it like, makes the meat more tender so. Guys, I'm a fan of Dao Chan now. Oh my god, it's so good! Yeah. Amazed. Yeah. Speechless. Mm. Okay, to be honest, right? I really no hope ready. I want yeah. to give this like, what? A 5 out of 10, <laughs> 6 out of 10 because I feel like everything is pretty normal. Correct. Like nothing special at all. But bro, it's in the sauce. Yeah. It's... When you put it right, it's like absolutely yeah. another dish cooked by another chef. Please. If you want yeah. to try this at Jurong East, right? Order the dal cha and yeah. eat it together with it. It's just an amazing experience. Okay, mm. I want to try it alone. No, babe. Oh. Give me prata also, I'll eat it with the prata. Maybe give me prata. Wow. No, the dalcha itself, right, flavorful, but not to the point that it will, it will like make you jelak. Got the umami flavor. Some food outside, mm. then you get the umami feeling, right? That's the satisfaction that I'm getting here from this like plate of dalcha. Sorry, I'm going for another bite. I feel like you should try it with acha this time. 
that is another dish. You have having the savory flavor from the dolcha, the, the tenderness from the meat, the texture of the rice. Then at the end, right, there's this sweetness from the acha. The crunch from the cucumber. This biryani is really very good. Like everything together. But in general, I think this whole plate of biryani costs about $8. $8. And I think it's a pretty average like price yes. for like biryani places. Definitely. Especially for mutton biryani, which is usually much more expensive. Like the most expensive oh. variety. And I think it is, I would say, a bit on the lower end. $8, I'll pay. I will certainly pay also with yeah. lots of dalcha. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is a neighborhood gem. Yeah. Neighborhood yeah. hidden gem. last location. Finally, from <laughs> Jurong, we came yeah. all the way to, <laughs> to the east. And we are here at Chahaya Timur Biryani House. Yes. And I've heard they serve authentic dumb biryani. Correct. It's even written right under their like store. Yeah. There, so. so I'm quite excited. Exactly. Yeah. Right. We'll be getting their mutton dumb biryani. Correct. And one masala apparently. Oh. oh very okay. excited. Yeah. All right. You know, shall we order? Can we get one mutton dumb biryani okay. and one prawn masala? Okay. Yes. Okay. We are at Changi Village right now. We have so much food. I'm so excited. So what we have here is a mutton dum biryani, prawn masala, and what is this? Okay, this is called achar in like, I think in Hindi. In like Tamil, we call it like urga. Urga. In English, it's just pickled stuff. Oh. So it can be a variety of like anything, vegetables or fruit. Okay, can I just say right, among all the rice that we had today, this has the perfect shade of yellow. Mm. Right. That very like authentic biryani look. Yeah. I think like what Larry said, like the colour of the rice. I think it's actually from like saffron. Perfume scent of saffron. Number one. The texture, the mm. consistency, on point. I yes. think amongst all the three places, it's very fluffy but it still maintains its structure. Yeah, it doesn't disintegrate. Like, you can still taste like the grains of rice. And I like that it's mild but yes. not too bland. I think this one you can taste the flavor of the meat a bit as well. Because right. it's like dumb and like you can tell that it was cooked together. I feel it's the toughest meat that we had for the day. And I feel like amongst the three also, like this is where I can taste the gaminess of the meat. I feel like I can't really taste gaminess with this one. And I feel like this one has more flavour in the meat itself. Mm. But I do agree, it's the toughest out of the lot. Might be also part of the piece we got is more All like right. tendons yes. and stuff. So Shall we try? Uh, the dal cha. Dal cha with your girlfriend was hot like me. Dal cha with your girlfriend was hit like me. Dal cha. Wow, this is very different. Mm. Like this doesn't have the umami taste, but it's more towards the sour. It's not bad for me though, I quite yeah. like it. I think it kind of overpowers the rice. Right. Maybe it's the amount we add up. It's more like asam curry. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I think now let's have a good proportion of all the elements inside. Oh my god, can I just say that this acha is essential to this plate. That spoonful just makes sense. Yeah. With this, right, it cuts through the taste of mm, everything. It yeah. puts everything in place together. Mm. There's like a crunch to this as well that really like makes the whole thing taste very nice. But yeah, I have nothing to add actually. It's a very nice mouth. Okay guys, I think this is the best special dish of the day. Prawn masala is like their other recommended dish today which Larry is very excited about. You're not meh? I mean I am also. <laughs> but you were singing me. about Prawn all Prawn masala. Oh, look at that. I want to snap the neck of the prawn. <laughs> What's it up, Sia? Mm. It's so good. It's so freaking good. It's like one of the plumpest, freshest prawns I've had in a while. And like usually when I feel like when they cook like unpeeled prawns in masala, I always think the sauce cannot penetrate through. But it does. It's very delicious. I feel right. it's a very fatty prawn. Yeah. Because the moment I suck the head just not right. There's a lot of like, like prawn fats that I like tasting inside. And I love sucking the prawn head. That, that's where all like the umami flavour comes in. Like, I think you should try. Then you the will know. Head. Yeah. Off camera. <laughs> I would say this is a very simple dish. It's very satisfying. Mm. I think it only works because their prawn quality is very high. And it's very easy to peel also. Which means it's fresh. And the masala is so good as you can see. Actually true. So this whole plate of biryani, it costs like $10. For me, that's actually not bad. I agree. Right, Definitely. with the portion that you get, prawns, you get it like 4 pieces for like $10. That's already yeah. a good deal. And these prawns are probably expensive also. Like, I don't think, like, I think it's very great quality. For and the size is yeah. big. And when I say big, it's really big. It's not like the second location where like, I would say, oh, it's good for like your neighbourhood. This one, I think it's good 
full stop. Didn't realize biryani had like this much variation, honestly. I thought they all kind of taste the same, but actually all three taste damn different. So for the first one, right, the rice is really very fragrant and flavorful. Mm. Plus the mint chutney. Oh, yeah, it oh was like God. one of the highlights of the first place. I really think like the meat quality was a whole different level. But that mutton flavor is unforgettable. For the second one, mm. I would say the dal cha rice. Yeah. It's like the best I've ever tried. I just think it's such a comforting oh, bite. Right. No frills, like you know what you're going to expect and that's exactly what you're going to get. For the last place, right, I feel that the acha, right, mm. is like one of the best acha among the three places yeah. because it's the acha that actually like didn't cut through with the flavour of the food but actually elevates it. Actually, I'll pick number one. Yeah, I'll pick number one because I think it's very unique. Like, it's like unlike any biryani I've ever had and like even if you don't like biryani, they have like a lot of other options. And the mint chutney was kind of life-changing. That one bite, ooh, I'm still thinking about it. I really liked it. I would say I will pick number one. It has the most cohesive flavour but I cannot let go of the second place because of the dal chow uh -huh. I think the last place, the prawns. Actually right, on a weekend or like mm. you know if you have a car or if mm. you're around east side right, right, please drop by and try the biryani and the prawn masala in this place. Uh. Because actually right, the prawn itself is worth driving for. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. Uh, I feel like my answer matters here. Yeah. <laughs> of course! Oh my god, uh, I know already. What? I feel I will pick none. Of course. I feel like none is actually a, is a hit or miss. Very hard to find a good none. How about you? All my Chinese friends love naan and butter chicken. But as an Indian person myself, I really think y'all should try Indian vegetarian food like talis. I tell you, if I can eat Indian vegetarian food every day, I can give up meat easily. Tomorrow, I become vegetarian. Comment <laughs> down below if you want us to do it. And request for Larry and Shash. We are Shalari. <laughs> oh! Shalari! Thank you for watching this episode of Neighborhood Jam. If you like this video, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye! bye. Nandri! Wow. That was so good! Nandri! <laughs> 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 you look like making fun of Indian people. Huh? <laughs> 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 it's the bird! It's the bird, guys. There's a bird there, I tell you.